Right, so here we're going to look at binary shifting, okay? It is the last part of 1.2.4 data storage. You can see that we've covered um, just binary and then adding binary and then uh, hexadecimal and then we're doing binary shifting now. So um, we need to understand the effects of a binary shift left and right on a number. So let's go through binary shifting. So Binary shifting is quite easy, right? It's only a short one this today. So basically, it's where you move the digits to the left or right in a binary number. So here is an example of a binary number. If we were going to shift it two to the right, basically you move the numbers two down to the right, and obviously you fill in any blanks with a zero at the front. So what I've done is, imagine that's the end of the byte. This is the end. I've shifted it down two to the right, so these two are lost, okay? What you can do is just um, cross off the two most right ones, cross, cross, and then obviously you just fill the left with zero. You don't actually always have to do that, but I think it's good practice um, because binary numbers, even though like we don't write 075 for 75, computers do like things in blocks of eight, so we do sort of fill the preceding um, zeros. But yeah, so when it says shift two to the right, you're basically destroying two on the right and then filling them with left. Because think of it as moving down to the right. There's an imaginary line here at the end where the binary cutoff is and then we're moving all the numbers down chunk chunk and then any gap we fill in with a zero so that's what it is there and obviously you're moving two to the left you do the same thing you're moving to the left and you you know delete the ones on the left and you fill them from the right so let's have a look at some example ones right oh no let's look at why we do it because obviously why the hell would you do that that seems so stupid the reason is <clears throat> it's a very quick way to divide a number or multiply a number now you can only divide by powers of two or multiple by powers of two. So you're either two, four, eight, you know, you can even, you, basically you can do, um, you know, you, you do powers of two because you can double it and double it and double it and double it. Or you can halve it, halve it, halve it, halve it. So that's where you've got to think. Every time you shift to the right, you are halving the number. Every time you shift to the left, you are doubling the number. So if you shift to the left once, you double it. If you shift to the left twice, you double it twice, which obviously is the same as times it by four. This is best done by example as always, so here we go. So I start off with this binary number, which is 48, okay? If I shift it two to the right, and this is much clearer when I've got the table about what I mean by shifting. So this one will end up here. This one will end up here because it's moved two to the right. These zeros that have moved off the end are just gone, okay? And then any gaps at the start, you just fill in with zeros. So as you can see here, we've moved two to the right. So we know that every time we move to the right once, we halve it. So we halve it twice, basically. Half of 48 is 24. Half of 24 is 12. So you can see here, that's what the shift to the right has done. So each shift is basically uh, the power of two. So one times two, two, two times two, four, three times two, yeah, eight. Um, uh, two, two to the power of three, eight, sorry. Two to the power of two, two to the power of three. So every time you shift, you... Um, you halve it to the right, yeah? When you so let's do another one. What happens though, if there's, the only issue with going to the right is that sometimes you lose accuracy because if you've got an odd number, um, you're always going to lose uh, the 0.5. So basically three divided by two, obviously, will be 1.5. And so the computer will always round it down because uh, when you're shifting down to the right, it's going to lose this one off the end, and then you're going to end up with this. So that is one issue with um, shifting to the right downwards. This can be quite useful sometimes, um, but we won't go through that so much now. So just understand that shifting to the right can lose accuracy. A quite a common question is, um, you know, why is, uh, it might say something like, why is performing a shift to the right and then a shift to the left by one not always the same? because uh, you can say, well, because sometimes you lose accuracy. So here, say we shift to the right by one, we get three to one. We shift this back left, we get two. So we haven't got the same number. So it's not always the same performing a right shift and a left shift. Um, left first is as long as you don't get any overflows this end. Um, but you know, that's the same as always. So that's the, that one. So left three, I'm gonna do here for left. So left is the same. Every time you move it by one, you double it. So think of it as to the power, so two to the power of three is eight. So moving it left three, we'll multiply it by eight, okay? So five becomes 10, becomes 20, becomes 40. There you go, so that's binary shifting. Um, not the most difficult piece, um, but you've got two bits of work this week, so I thought I'll keep one of them nice and short. So just attempt the worksheet quiz, it's only got about eight questions on it, and um, yeah, that's it.